behind the scenes things going on. But LG, Mage of Symphonia up against Source GGEA Zay. And for those of you who don't know, Mage of Symphonia is technically honorary, if not actually DFW. No, oh, he's definitely DFW. Um, I just, this, the man, he's here every single time he's not in school, yeah. and he's always showing up and giving us that XP with Rosalina we need, and always getting to that top part of the bracket. Lima being his demon, and him being Austin's demon. Uh, and it's really great to see him back in town and showing us some of that awesome Rosalina play. He, one thing that Mage consistently does with his Rosa that sticks out to me as, as a Hallmark Mage thing is his elusive movement. He actually moves really aggressively to force options out of you. And a lot of like melee-esque like dash dancey situations. Yeah, his movement is some of the best I've seen in Rosalina for sure. Ooh, not going for a punish there when Fox was stuck in a hit lag attacking Luma. Interesting. <laughs> but Luma's ready to punish Fox. I love how Mage is so cognizant of how to use Luma. Uh, whenever Luma is put in a bad spot, right? Or like he's put in a bad spot. Like that, those lunar landings are just are so so good. <laughs> My wow. gosh, he almost got that. Narrowly avoids the timing right there. Zay's oh. gonna take the first stock too, scooping Mage up with that up tilt, confirming into the up air. Yeah, I love how even though Zay was getting tossed around, he was still finding the moments to apply small damage, get those up airs of Fox that do so much damage, and eventually seal that stock first. That's crazy that Luma actually interrupted what Zay was going for was a footstool combo. Dare footstool into a lock. Mm -hmm. Potentially could have ended in fair footstool. Uh, would have done ridiculous amounts of work, but Luma in the way wasn't going to let him have the footstool because he didn't have enough stun. Yeah, that's happened multiple times now. I really want Zay to start being more aware of Luma whenever he, she's on the stage, right? Um, he would go for a nut tilt and then he'll just immediately go for a combo. I want to see him start waiting for Luma to hit and then going for the punch. I mean, now Luma's gone and... Oh, that's kill percent. I, I'm amazed he didn't run up in up smash. I think because he knew he wouldn't be able to get there in time. Maybe. I don't know. Fox is fast, man. Fox is pretty fast. I agree. Better safe than sorry, though. And that up to uh, up air is gonna do it. Consistency will always be the key. Zay, that was the that was the hallmark of that match. Just like how patient and consistent Zay's damage was, and he was able to find that kill time and time again. Mage may have been leveling up in in California. While he was gone for a little bit, come back. Might get shook to see this level of Zay, because Zay, when Mage left, was not quite as proficient as he is right now. He's, he's leveled up significantly through GGA. Yeah, they've been practicing. He's been getting coaching. He's been leveling up considerably, getting so much better. And that first match is definitely a testament to that fact. He just did 36. Out of a four throw to grab, uh, or a uh, jab. jab. So That's nuts. Luma combos, or Luma combos. Almost the same thing. Who <laughs> must just play Bay or just play Rosalina? He did. Rosa like, was his main before Bale. I don't even remember. He wasn't here. Was so long. He was a Wi-Fi warrior. Ah, you're right. It's like Cosmos. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Back to this though. I still, we're seeing a lot of that first game. We have a lot of maids damage, a lot of maids control, but then we're still having these consistent hits coming in. From Zay, Got, gets Luma out too. And we saw how he played while Luma was off the field last time. He was able to rack up so much percent onto Maze. And look at this already, keeping him on this left side of the stage, unable to recover. That timing was nice. Rinse and repeat, up tilt to back air. And it's how Rinse the story goes. And repeat. My gosh. Zay is washing his hands right now. My gosh. Lather, rinse, and repeat. This man shampooed and conditioner. Now, again, on the left side of the stage, this time respecting Luma mm -hmm. after he's getting that damage. I'm excited to see the adaptation, but now it's Mage's turn. I liked that he used the Firefox there to stall the timing. <laughs> that laser. Wow, that, that, the freaking Luma there to just be such a disturbance. What a lunar landing. That was so good. Okay, so did he die because of the illusion there? I think he was gone regardless. Okay. I'm not Because sometimes positive. you know those you know yeah. the side beasts can... I know the DI was not great. Okay. Yeah. But absolutely, that is a possibility. Okay. There we Ooh. go, just pressure. Wow. Go for that delay back air. Trying to get that rinse and repeat there, but great Luma placement there from Maze. You're going to get him out of the corner, but Zay sends him right back over to the right side. Back throw, Oof. not respecting Luma this time. I don't know if he was even able to do anything about that one. Yeah, I'm not sure how long that lag is after that. 
Back there, certainly not a combo throw. Oh, and, and he held the grab just long enough to have Luma come back. And now, I repeated the last mm -hmm. one, almost taking a stock there. May, our, Zay has to be so careful with how he recovers. He's recovered that way multiple times, and Mage finally scoping it out. Not going to get the stock for it, but definitely putting uh, Zay at these higher percents, looking for that kill. Opportunity now. He has Luma set him up for on the right side. Going to go for the, air or the edge guard? No. But now he's forced no to recover, and he misses, but he doesn't roll on stage quick enough. Oh, Maze missed the first smash attack. He totally could have rolled on. That's unfortunate. But Maze is going to get that second game. Not, not even Mage is happy with that. Man. Yeah, that was like he legitimately, I don't think he was he was ready, uh, Zay was, to, to immediately buffer that option because he had enough time there to just roll on and not get forward smash. Mm -hmm. It seemed like on stage Zay was doing really strong, but as soon as he got pushed off stage, I mean that's where that's where Mage and Rosa were able to shine. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and it was kind of the the end for both, right? Whenever he was able to, whenever Zay was able to get Mage off, he was able to start capitalizing. The off stage has been very important in this set so far, and whoever's able to knock the, the other one off first, one off up air. Yeah, he's definitely been abusing the up air in this set and just getting so much. Money. It's whenever he's putting that deficit from Mage, he's able to get one up tilt into an up air just like that and just get so much mileage with it. Now just approaching with it, but still not respecting Luma as an option, not respecting the lunar landing either. And he's getting punished for it time and time again. Does kill Luma though. And now, Maze all by himself reads the air dodge, but not able to punish. And now he's off the stage. This is what we're seeing in that last game. We get him off the stage, waiting for the back airs. Ooh, misses the up tilt there. Whoa. Catches the neutral get up with the up smash, but he gets the weird hit. Yeah, that was a super weird hit on up smash. It's like the upwards hit? That was strange. It looked like he got the back hit, but Mage was in front of him. So yeah, that didn't make any it sense. was it's probably Rosalind is weird. She doesn't have actual legs. Ooh, clanking with the up smash with his up tilt. It's unfortunate because they probably would have been able to capitalize if it didn't clank that hard to mm -hmm. put him in the animation. But Mage's definitely capitalizing here, setting up Luma. Now caught on his platform. What's the option? So much patience, and he just had to wait there. That's unfortunate. Right, he had so many opportunities Zay did to just jump off, maneuver himself around, but he was he was so afraid of the up smash that Mage was more than happy to wait till the shield whittled down enough so he could poke. I feel like that first spot dodge was Zay missing a shield drop. Uh, and he was just trying to go for it, wasn't able to make it happen. Super unfortunate. Finally gonna get that stock up there with the back air though. That is ridiculous that he went for the forward throw. Luma then punished him for it and comboed into the Rosa grab. Mage's Luma utilization has just been insane. From the lunar landings, setting up for jabs, to just setting him, setting Luma up and putting him in a like a constant spinning jab to pressure. It's been crazy. Look at Ooh, that. Ooh, just lands and shields, but he got the Luma attack out in time to yeah. still cover himself. That's crazy. It is such a good option. And finally. Getting the stock there, multiple up airs, keeping Zay in that disadvantage for as long as possible. Mage is going to be taking it over here. Says, Zay, you may have leveled up, but I'm still going to yeah. be naking you down. That means Mage has made it advanced into bracket. No more pulls for Mage. Yeah. Bow, bow, I think now Zay bow. is playing. Is he playing to make it out or playing for seeding at this point? Okay. 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 Did me? Mm, who else? Who's first seed in that pool? I don't think it was Mage or Zay. Oh, they were in the they're in the pool with Lima. 